Hey y'all, today we're making brownie and strawberry mushrooms. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna need to do is make some brownies. Now, obviously you see I'm using a box of brownie mix, but you are more than welcome to make whatever your favorite homemade brownie mix is or your favorite box brownie mix, whatever. Use whatever, okay? And you're gonna need to get your strawberries washed up. Make sure that you wash them very well and you leave the stems on them, okay? Because we're gonna need the stems. But you need also need to make sure that they're very dry because we have to coat these in a little, in a little bit, you know? And if your strawberries are wet, the stuff is not gonna wanna stick to them. So, I wasn't real sure about this recipe, y'all, because I'm not the crafty one in my family. Y'all have heard me say that before. My sister is the crafty one. She has a big crafting channel here on the old YouTubes. I will link her channel down below for y'all if anybody is feeling crafty. But I just wasn't sure if this was going to be the recipe for me because, you know, I'm one of those people that has a lot of Pinterest fails when I try to make things look cute. <laughs> So, I mean, every now and then I'll mess up and make something look cute. But, you know, as a rule, I don't really do a lot of crafty stuff. So, preheat your oven however your box tells you to. And that's how you're going to, you know, know how long to cook everything. Just, you know, whatever mix you're using. So, you're going to scoop this brownie mix into these round silicone molds. And this is one, I think... It's roughly the size of like a hot chocolate bomb, like half of a hot cocoa bomb, which by the way, my daughter makes some fantastic cocoa bombs and they're adorable. And I'm going to try to get her to come on here and do us a cocoa bomb tutorial around the holiday time. So maybe something to look forward to. Once you get your um, brownie mix in your little round silicone thingamajiggy there put it on a cookie sheet pop it in the oven and we're going to let that bake until they're done okay however long you know like i said your mix tells you and of course i had extra mix so i thought i could throw it in a pan and make just like a regular small pan of brownies with what was left over but then i thought you know this uh these silicone molds that i got it came in a pack of three and so i used the biggest one and then this is the smallest one who doesn't love a brownie bite, right? And I thought we could make some tiny little mushrooms too. So again, pop that on a cookie sheet, put it in the oven, let it bake until it's done. Once they're done, let them cool all the way. And then you're just going to pop them out of your silicone mold. And I sprayed my silicone molds. You probably don't need to, but just for added ex extra added security, I did spray mine a little bit. But you do whatever you want to do with yours. So now you see these bigger ones, they are awfully rounded on the top. And I wasn't really sure about how my strawberry would sit because it was so round. I wanted it to hold together good. So I figured I would flatten out my mushroom tops, okay? So see, all I did was just take a little knife and just flatten that out. Now you can use that little leftover piece for another little skinny mushroom if you wanted to, you know, or just eat it, that's what I did. But you know, <laughs> do whatever you want to do with yours so like i said i just went around and i just cut off all the tops and that's what we did i didn't have to cut them off the small ones so then what you're going to need is some red like candy coating okay i bought these at walmart and i didn't even think about it y'all what i should have done was just take a cheap bag of white chocolate chips and put red food coloring in it so, you know, you live and learn. But we're going to pop these in the microwave 30 seconds at a time until they're completely melted. Okay. Wash out your silicone molds because you need the same size mold that you just used. So if you only have one like I do, one of each size, wash it out real good, dry it real good. And then you're going to take that candy coat and stuff that's melted and you're just going to rub that on the inside of your mold. Now, it doesn't need to be super thick, but it doesn't need to be real, real thin either because you want it to actually form a shell. Does that make sense? Y'all know what I'm saying? But like I said, you could certainly use um, white chocolate chips for this and just make them whatever colors you want to make them. You know... Again, like I said, you live and learn, but these were okay. I mean, this stuff was easy to work with. And a lot of people put a little bit of oil in there when they melt like chocolate chips and stuff. But I have 
at least up to this point, have never really felt the need to have to do that. It always works pretty good without me doing that. So once you get the coating in your little silicone molds, just gently sit your, I almost said cupcake, your brownies back down in there. You don't want them to slide down in there because you don't want it to pull the the coating off the side. Does the, am I making sense? Y'all see what I'm doing. But anyway, you're just going to keep going with this to do as many of these, um, you know, little mushrooms as you want to do. I didn't know how many I was going to need, so I just kind of kept going until I ran out of, um, you know, the little coat and stuff. You know, <laughs> that's what I did. I just, just did it till I ran out because it wasn't anything like I needed a certain amount. This was just me playing around with a fun recipe and then sharing it with y'all. So then I had enough left to do two little tiny mushrooms as well. Then you're going to need to let these just sit until they are hardened and it doesn't take but maybe 15 20 minutes but just make sure that they're set before you move on so now i'm taking some of these white uh chips or are they chips disc whatever they are do the same thing 30 seconds at a time until they're melted now the reason we left our stem on our strawberry is because it's a lot easier to roll this strawberry around in this white chocolate stuff if you've got the stem on there plus if you're gonna you know we're gonna sit these upside down so the stem is actually going to be the bottom of your mushroom and it kind of looks like grass you know so win-win right <laughs> so then you're gonna take a little bit of this candy stuff this what is this stuff y'all this melted stuff <laughs> i cannot think y'all know words are hard for me sometimes and today they're failing me miserably but you're going to take some of this put it on top of your little brownie don't do too too much you want it thick enough that it's going to hold on to your strawberry but you don't want it so thick that it takes 10 hours to dry because you're going to have to put your strawberry on there and then hold it until it starts to set up now it starts to set up pretty quick and you'll be able to let go then you're going to want to wait until your white chocolate part is completely set up because you don't want to pop this out and it fall apart and then you pop it out. Look at these adorable little mushrooms. Are they perfect? Nope. Do I care? Also no. <laughs> because I thought they were cute. And mushrooms in the wild are not perfect either. So there. We're not puff perfect either. So our mushrooms shouldn't be expected to have perfection. Whatever I'm trying to say. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, if you're going to sit these on a plate like I did, you're going to have to be able to hold them. Okay, so I put a little bit more of that white chocolate down on there, turned my mushroom up the way the mushroom is going to sit, and then I just set it right down on there and, and just held it there until the uh, white chocolate part was set up enough to um, hold it so it wouldn't fall over. Okay, so that's what we're doing. You're just going to hold them till they don't fall over. So now our little mushrooms need some polka dots. Now I had this cookie icing. I used this at Halloween and Christmas. I love this stuff. You can get it at Walmart. But if you don't have this or you don't want to use it, you could take some more of that white chocolate that we melted. Let it cool down just a little bit. Put it in a piping bag and pipe it on here. Either way will work just the same, okay? And this is what they look like all done. Now, I just took some more of the extra brownies and crumbled them up to make kind of like dirt around them or whatever. But y'all, I think these turned out adorable. And I feel like y'all need to try these because they're super simple. All right, that is all I have for y'all today. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye, y'all.